All right, I'm here with Alan Hearman. We were covering spring, spring Fling last week, and you had an interesting experience with CPA. Tell us a little bit about that, because that this is something, seriously, I've never heard of, and it's amazing. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So that week was Spring Fling, which is all the state championships. Right. So uh, I was able to participate in the soccer and track portions of that. And that was how, really do you, cool. how do you manage doing both of those sports when they're going on pretty much simultaneously? Well, throughout the season, um, I had Coach Armstrong was really flexible with me. He let me yeah. do a few track practices and go out to a few meets. He was really flexible. There was only like one or two conflicting times that I could kind of come to the soccer games during the second half. Yeah, so that that's, that's great. Cool. So you would so you would go run and you go you do track. And that's exhausting because I'm not a runner, so I know that how exhausting that can be. If, I, if I'm running a mile in about eight to ten minutes, that's amazing for me. So you go, you go do track, and then go play, go get ready to play a soccer game. Oh yeah, that's crazy. It was I, fun. How do you do that? Um, well, how conditioned do you have to be to do that? We had to be, I had to be pretty conditioned, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we have a fitness program at CPA, and that helps out so much. So it's during... got to be top of the line to be able to pull us off. Oh yeah, our coaches are awesome, Coach yeah. Jeff and Coach Taylor. We uh, like during the school day we go, we can work out. So yeah. I can, I don't have to like fit in all this extra time to go work out. So because I can just do it during the school day. So yeah. That was cool. Okay, so go and specifically spring fling, and tell, uh, tell me a little bit about that schedule. How that was, what that was like. So we had the game, and right as the game ended. <laughs> I had to. Oh, which game was? Which one was this? Oh, so soccer game was first. So this was a state championship. Yes, state okay, championship so state game. State championship game is first. Okay, so CPA soccer is in a state championship game. So you're there at the game, right? Oh yeah. And so it's and it's a close game. Oh yeah. So if this it was game, tight. it was yeah. And so you all score late. So what if that game went into extra time? Would you have had to have left the game? I have no probably. I have really? no idea what so I would have done. Just, you have, so you're sitting up there in a, in a game that's nil nil, going, oh god. I wasn't even thinking about that though. I was really? so I was so intent on the game. Yeah. Okay. I had no idea what I would have done actually. <laughs> that would have been a weird situation. Yeah. So okay, so you're at the game and you all finally score and the game ends and then so you. Say, I was freaking out. Do you celebrate? Did you get a chance to celebrate? Oh, immediately. That's the first thing I was thinking about. I sprinted in. I tackled with my friends. I was actually <laughs> at the bottom of the dog pile, so I was getting crushed by everyone. That is right before you went to go to a track meet. That's what needs oh, to yeah. happen, right? And yeah. then I, I somehow like squeezed out and yeah. and my dad goes, "We gotta go." And I was like, "Oh crap!" So I sprinted, got my soccer bag. Waved all my friends, thank coach, and so we were how, all. So you had no time to really like let the let the fact that you <laughs> just won CPA's first state championship since 1999. That couldn't even sink in yet. You said it go. No, it hadn't yet. Okay. It was crazy then. So y'all, how long did it take you to get to the to the track meet? Took us about. It was at MTSU, which was really close. Yeah, thank so goodness. So. Girl, yeah. We drove there, and then I had around 15 minutes before my uh, track meet started. We ran that four by eight. And so how do you, isn't there some type of preparation once you get there? Yes. So you have to rush through all of that? I had, I ran there, I met with my coach, warmed up for five minutes, and then signed in, and they walked us out on the track. Like, Let's go. No way. So you, so, but then how long would you say from winning a state title in soccer, how, how much of a time did you have from that to where you're on the track taking off? Probably around 30 minutes. Really? And how'd you finish? We, our 4x8 team got third, so that was really exciting. That's awesome. So you, so in one day, you get a state championship in soccer in the third place overall in the track. Oh yeah. That is too cool. That is a really cool story. And I'm, and I'm, I'm not blowing smoke when I say this, I've never heard of a player nearly <laughs> finishing a state championship in one sport and coming in third in a, in, in a high school in a second in the same day. That's really cool. All right, man. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. It.